This is a story called The Little Monsters, Chapter 50 The School Sports Day Disaster It's coming up to the school sports day and all the gang are taking part in several competitions and they are all looking forward to it <coughs> Excuse me Of course the kids are getting their jokes up together ready to play pranks on the audience on the day of the event, all the kids in the school who were taking part were very excited. When the chairs are put out for the audience, the gang sneakily go around putting whoopee cushions on some of them. When the audience sat on them, they deflated, making a loud farting noise. Then, once everyone was seated, the competition started. The first competition was the egg and spoon race. All the gang took part, but Kicker won. Then they took part in the two-legged race. Kicker and Stampy had their legs tied together. Stumpy and Grumpy had their legs tied together. And so did Bumpy and Creeper. However, it was Bumpy and Creeper who won first prize. Then it was time for the kids' sack race, and Stumpy won first prize. <coughs> Excuse me. Then it was time for the men's sack race and Kicker's dad won first prize. Then it was time for the women's sack race and Stumpy's mum won first prize. Then it was time for the kids to go all competition and it was girls versus boys. There was a muggy mud, there was a muddy park in the middle and whoever lost ended up in it. The competition went ahead and the, the girls won, men and the boys ended up in the muddy bog, much to everyone's amusement. Then it was time for the adults to go out and it was women versus men. The women won and the men ended up in the muddy bog again, much to everyone again, much to everyone's amusement. Then it was time for the kids running race and Bumpy won. Then it was the adults running race and Grumpy's mum won. Then they took a 15 minute break before the next competition, leaving people enough time to get themselves refreshments. <coughs> Excuse me. This also gave the little monsters enough time to go around putting fat gas in people's drinks and soft fat sweets in their food, causing them to fart constantly. Then they went round putting pink cushions on people's seats. However, they didn't realise that some of the teachers and the headmistress were going to sit on them. When the competition started again, Mrs Tinker and some of the other teachers decided to get revenge on the little monsters. They got six chairs and put them face in the audience. Then they asked the gang to come over and sit on the chairs. As they went to sit down, the staff put pink cushions on the chairs. When the kids sat on them, they stuck in their bums, making them jump up, howling in pain. Then they gave each of them a drink. What the kids didn't realise was that the staff had put farkas in their drinks. As soon as they'd finished drinking them, they started fighting constantly, much to everyone's amusement. Then it was time for the shopping for the skipping competition and believe it or not, Stumpy came first. Then it was the adult skipping competition and Kicker's mum won first prize. Then there was the rounders competition. The little monsters were spread out amongst different teams. Kicker was team captain for her team and they won. Then it was the kids versus adults round his competition and the kids won. Then with about an hour and a half to go before the sports day, before the end of sports day, everything suddenly turned nasty when a group of about eight high school boys came into the, came onto the school field, ramsacking the event and riding their motorbikes through the crowds causing everyone to run in different directions. However, Kicker wasn't quick enough and she was hit by one of the bikes and the boy on the bike thought it was funny. 
An ambulance was called and Kicker was rushed to hospital. The police were also called, but the teenager was just carried on causing mayhem. As the police closed in on them, they rode off at high speed and got away. The police managed to catch some of them, but they were, the rest were still free. Just as everyone thought that it was all over with, the teenagers came back. This time, some of them grabbed some of the kids, and as you can imagine, they were terrified. Thankfully, the police got there just in time, and they managed to catch the villains, and the kids were rescued, and then they were taken back to their parents. Then Mrs Applejack made an announcement, telling everyone that Kika was fine and that she had no injuries. Not long after that, Kika came back to the school and everyone gave her a round of applause. Everyone carried on with a sparks day and Mrs Tinker asked the little monsters if they'd like to sing a couple of songs and they agreed. When they'd finished, they received a huge round of applause and a standing ovation. Then it was time for the hula hoop race. The person who won was Grumpy. Then there was the hula hoop race for the adults and Creeper's mum won. Then there was another hula hoop competition. Whoever managed to twirl their hula hoop around their waist the most was the winner. And that winner was Creeper. Then the adults had to go out and Bumpy Dad won much to the amusement of the kids. Then it was the climbing wall competition, kids versus kids, and Stampy got to the top first and won first prize. Then it was adults versus kids and Stumpy and Kicker beat their dads. Then, just as everyone was enjoying themselves, some more teenagers came speeding onto the field on their motorbike, causing everyone to run in different directions. This time, five people were injured and the teenagers grabbed some of the kids and rode off with them. Mrs Tinker ran to her office and called the police and the paramedics. All those who were injured were rushed to hospital. The police went after the teenagers but they got away after letting the little kids go. However, the police soon caught up with them, arrested them and took them into custody. Mrs Jinko made sure that all the kids were okay and then she took them to their parents. Then she had the little monsters if they think for a bit and they agreed. Again when they finished they received a standing ovation and a huge round of applause. Then Mrs Tinker announced that all those who had been in taken to hospital were fine. She asked everyone if they'd like to take part in a kids versus adults running race and they did. The one who won was Kicker's mum. Then there was a kids versus adults skipping competition and this time Bumpy won. Then Mrs Tinker asked the little monsters if they'd spend the last hour singing and they agreed. They sang song after song and they sang their hearts out. Once again when they finished they all received a standing ovation and a huge round of applause. The end. Thanks for watching guys. Love yous. Bye.